Welcome to the world of success. Today, we're going to talk about some of the most successful people in history who made it to the top of their game despite drinking copious amounts of alcohol. Let's start with Winston Churchill, the former British Prime Minister. Did you know that Churchill consumed large amounts of alcohol throughout his life? He had a particular fondness for whiskey and champagne, and look where it got him. He became the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and led his country to victory during World War II. Next on our list is the American author Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway was known for his excessive drinking habits, which eventually led to his declining health and eventual suicide. But he was also a successful author who won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Ulysses Grant, the 18th President of the United States, was also a heavy drinker throughout his life. His excessive consumption of alcohol led to a decline in his health in his later years. But despite that, he was a successful military leader who helped win the Civil War. Then there's Edgar Allan Poe. He was a successful writer who is still read and admired today. This American author was also known for his alcoholism. He struggled with it throughout his life, leading to his premature death at the age of 40. Finally, we have Richard Burton, the Welsh actor. He was known for his excessive drinking habits, particularly his love for Scotch whiskey, which he consumed in large quantities throughout his life. But let's not focus on that. He was a successful actor who won multiple awards for his performances. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Well, if you are an alcoholic and you're not scared by the health risks, about the potential for addiction, about the damage it can do to your personal relationships, then at least you should strive to be a functioning one. However, we should point out that this video is not promoting alcohol consumption. We're just here to list some of the high-functioning alcoholics in our history. For the very large majority, drinking excessively is not the key to success. But then again, we are not here to stand in the way of your dreams of becoming the next Churchill or Hemingway. So go ahead and cheers to your success. And if anyone tells you otherwise, just tell them to mind their own business. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your drinking buddies. Until next time, bottoms up.